this is one of our best opportunities in the foreseeable future to see a total eclipse. The first lunar eclipse of the year is tonight, and thanks to the time of year and the time of day it's happening, we might be in for a really good show. Chris Vaughn is an astronomer based out of Markham. He says the show starts at about 9.30 and makes for a great family event. In the GTA, we get the whole event from start to finish, which is not that often that we get that benefit. Now, at this particular eclipse, this is an example of the, the moon passing through the shadow of the Earth. You've got some software here that illustrates that really nicely. Can, can you show us that? Sure, sure. During a total lunar eclipse, the moon is actually close enough to the Earth's shadow to actually pass through it. Or drop this through it. inner circle being the, the hard shadow of the Earth? Yeah. So any object that's inside the smaller circle here is not receiving any direct sunlight at all. Any object that's in the outer ring is still seeing part, a part of the sun. But you won't start seeing the cut or the bite out of the moon until it starts entering the inner circle. So as I advance the time here, you can see that round bite out of the moon. And that process will last in Toronto until the moon fully enters the shadow around 11.30 p.m. If you were on the moon during uh, this time, I, the view of the Earth probably would be quite beautiful, wouldn't it? The sun would be hidden behind the Earth, but the sun's light would be streaming past the Earth's horizon, producing a 360-degree halo of, of golden orange sunset-colored light. That beautiful red color, why, why the actual change of color? Why doesn't it just go completely dark? So, if the, if the sunlight wasn't refracting around the Earth's uh, layer of atmosphere, then the moon would go completely dark. The different wavelengths of light behave differently when they're passing through so much more of the Earth's atmosphere. You get, when the Earth is low on the horizon, when the sun is low on the horizon, it's penetrating much, much a thicker blanket of Earth's atmosphere. So you get the red light, the red wavelengths preferentially. Is it kind of like uh, the light that we see here on Earth um, during a sunrise or a sunset, the moon is just being washed in that kind of light? Exactly. It's as if the moon is being bathed only in sunset light. And then this, this is, uh, this is when it starts to reemerge here? Yeah. If you're catching the show from its start, you'll want to start by looking southeast. And if you miss this one entirely, Chris says the next chance is in November. But that one happens in the early morning hours, and November weather is less likely to be favorable. In Markham, David Zura, City News.